back on again. Are the levels working? I don't know. They're working see. today. No, they're working. Okay. I don't know what's um. Okay, if I turn it up, start talking now. Hi, my name is Karen Kissel, and today is Wednesday. <laughs> Say something now. Today is Wednesday. Yeah, it's like it's right now. Okay. If you can hear, but if not, you're on the one and two, okay. or the negative twenty ten. But when I was um logging, it, um Wilsons were about that that level, and mm-hmm. I could hear them fine. Yeah. They did, did. They do all right. Mm-hmm. They came through all right. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think so, cause you know his his voice is kind of kind of put you to sleep. <laughs> they were fine, and um they, okay. they picked up really well. So. You have bad hair, though. I know I was. <laughs> that's my last thing to do at the door, and I, yeah, well, you I know, didn't get to do it. So, seemed like both of y'all had a problem because when she came in here, hers was messed up, so she had to go and take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, uh, I just wanted to um, first, first of all, I, I kind of cheated a little bit. I, I, I was talking to Carla concerning uh, how did you guys do at the at the uh, QL Stevenson's place, evidently you, everything turned out pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. We kind of like that. They were a lot of fun. Okay, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I, I think that we need to revisit them again, and then mm-hmm. we need to hook them up with other people of small businesses, that that's other groups. And then, I mean, they can go either way. They can go with the, the families, they can go with religion, mm-hmm. or they can go with uh, the school to education. It just so happened that since we're doing education, we went first with them, and we give them some exposure, and they can appear maybe two or three times in the book. I would agree with that. Now, what, now what did they do in education? I didn't get that mm-hmm. out of them. I, heard, I okay, mean, besides their, their kids going to yeah. the auntie schools, but out of okay. that, I didn't get it. Okay, well, what, what I was hoping to, to pull out of that was uh, their education. Now, you know, we got to admit that they're not like the... Um, um, they're not like the Wilsons. Let me get this phone here. One more time. Okay. Okay. They're not like the Wilsons who were born and raised, well, at least she was, born and raised in Muncie. They were some transplants that come into Muncie, but their kids came through the Muncie Community School System. And what we was trying to pull out because her daughter, you know, she um, she came on through, and then see, we didn't get a chance to break it down. She did have, you know, the three children. I think you asked the question, mm-hmm. what do you have? Three boys, but see, he didn't he didn't say that. I mean, they didn't they didn't say that. And I kind of wanted to shut up after talking so loud, so long. But one of the daughters, Teresa, she came through. She graduated from Ball State. She went out to California. She did all of these other things. She came back, got her got a master. She taught over in the architect and planning, urban development. Yeah. She graduated from that seat. That's what I'm saying. Then they, they, she left there. Now she's running. She's working for the federal government on housing. She's over the whole thing of Indiana. I mean, the, we're talking about the education. See, all that stuff went bro. I tried to shut up, you know. We got them to talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Later. But, we can ask them more about it next time. Yeah. And, and, and Teresa, because, I mean, it's, it's very exciting. This is what's so exciting about it. I think she was appointed by the governor mm-hmm. of the great state of Indiana. I, I think that's the way it is. Now she is a she is she's over all she traveled extensively doing things. I mean, but it all started with going through the the, the community school system. She started off going to Longfellow, mm-hmm. then over to another school, then graduating from Central High School. Now let's talk about her son Wayne. Wayne, uh, uh, he was a musician. Now, remember, they was talking about that. He always loved to play. They tried to get him to wrestle and all that. But Wayne, right now, he travels with Kenneth Copeland. And I don't know if you guys know about Kenneth Copeland. He's on television every Sunday, every, in fact, every morning. Kenneth Ho- Copeland, is, he was with Pop Hagen. And, and all of these is great spiritual leaders in, in, in the country. If you, if you go out, on, on, out to... Uh, Oklahoma or Texas or any place like that, you mentioned Kenneth Copeland or Hagen or, or, or some of them. Wow, you know, people would say, wow. Well, he's the leading guy. He's the one that's on television. They, so they sit in their living room, turn on, they see their son playing on every <laughs> Sunday morning, playing for Kenneth K, uh, uh, Copeland. I didn't want to bring that out. I wanted them to say that kind of stuff. I didn't want to steal the thunder. 
But yes, and, and he comes back in, but come back home, he's just Wayne. But he was there, he leads the praise and worship. I mean, he's just an excellent man. He writes music, he plays music, and he's a, and he's he travels all over, Doug. That's all he does. But it started through the school system, going in band and all of that. And then the other daughter, well, she married a pastor, and she graduated from college. But she chose to be, I mean, being that she had married, she's the first lady. And she helped, you know, kind of run the business. So all these things are great factors and stuff like that, you know. And just like we were dealing with the Wilsons. You know, the Wilsons, you know, the, the, um, uh, they kind of pushed education. And basically her son, he went to Purdue. And then he was going to be an uh, aeronautical uh, uh, pilot, a plane engineer. And then he left that. And then he became a, a, a medical doctor. So, I, I mean, and then the daughter, she's out in the West Coast. I think she's a, she was a school teacher, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and, and she built her education in, in that. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, these are people who have, who have uh, uh, labored together, who have uh, kind of helped shape and, and, and mold the community together because all the kids played together and they did mm -hmm. things together. When one got in trouble, they all got in trouble. You know, that type of, the village type of mentality or, or, or thing that we're talking about, entity. So I look at it as, as a success because I look at the husband and the wife, the parents, both of them using a united front, going to the schools, talking. Now, we I must admit, at that particular time, especially with QL, being that he was working, his wife went to the schools, you know, but she shared that with him. But we got to understand that in, in most of the cases with the two couples in which we have interviewed, the, the wife has been the one has dealt with the education. Now, I look at my family, and I look at my wife in, in our situation. She is the one who's leading in that. But now that I'm a part of the Muncie Community you know, School Board and the Board of Trustees, I find out that I'm getting more involved because I know that the kids got to meet, have certain criterias in order to graduate now. So things have changed dramatically since the time I was in school versus the time they're in school right now or the times in which we have now. We're dealing with that uh, PL221 and all of that, and, and, this, and, it, and, it, and it brings about it a whole lot of uh, 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 requirements if you want to graduate, if you want to continue to teach. You've got to meet the expectation, or you got to meet the challenge or the level we're at now. And things are changed dram dramatically. But I'm just trying to get some, some flavor of uh, some of the, 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 the pioneers who lived in the time when things was really tough, and what did they did, and what did they do. And, and, and then I want to break it down to some of the, our younger married couples. And I wanted to fix that up, too. But I want to start with the old so we can see where we was at now to see where we're going now. Because things have changed since the two of you have left high school, which was just last year or whatever. <laughs> but, you know, things are changing. It's completely, I mean, continually to change. So, what, you know, I, I guess our focus is, is being able to get the right people and I know you're doing other things on the side, you know, mm -hmm. with other people too, but getting the right people, because I'm just trying to uh, start with a foundation. And if I use those two people as a foundation, it's too bad you missed the Wilson, but they was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can't be there all the time, and I don't want to keep hand feeding. I kind of want them to exercise their own, you know, and you pull that extract and sponge that stuff out of them. I'm trying to, 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 to uh, sit back and allow y'all to do that so you can write it down. But I know how to pull stuff out of folks. You know, that's only because of the relationship in which I have with him. I have talked to him on, on special occasion. I already know a whole lot of stuff. But, you know, I just want them, you to extract it out of them. And sometimes it's very difficult to get it out of them because they want to go left and you want to go right. You know, Keo want to talk about this and you want to get this right here. So you kind of got to, you know, wheel him in and bring him around, you know, to the point where we can continue to do these things. Um... There will be another married couple I want to do, mm -hmm. you know, and then I, I want to do some 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 elderly people where we're working at now, and then I want to use some some middle-aged people, and these are people like past superintendents uh, that have come through the Monte Community School System who have make who have made it. I want to talk to some of the mothers who have had uh, their sons and their daughters who have uh, the father have deceased, and 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 the husband and the son has went on to become a doctor and. And all of that, and the gave to community, and go on. You know, I want to. I want to make sure I cover those people 
the middle age. And then I want to go to some of our young couples right now and how important it is for education and stuff like that. We got some people here like Terry DeWitt Bailey. You know, uh, you know who she is. She's a secretary for the president of the university. You know, and her and her husband, uh, uh, they, they have kids that they have one son who's attending uh, Story Elementary School. And uh, they're very exciting, well-educated, two extremely well-educated people that can get, can can give you from the, the the latest wave of what's going on because they own it. They see the report card. They they seeing this and they they involved in their kids. And they 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 they're just great parents and teachers. So we can sit down, we can talk with them and and some of the others. Then we need to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So th there will be young, middle-aged, and then some seniors. But we got to have a, some kind of a reference or a starting starting point. And then again, I was kind of like brainstorming right before you come, uh, Carla, and this was <clears throat> dealing with some of the, the individual standout that's still around here, that's still doing the same thing, that was born and raised here, like uh, Vernon Reese, who was a, a, a history teacher over at Muncie Northside, uh, talking and sitting down, speaking with him, you know. Now, here he is being a, 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 a male teacher at that, but the only Afro-American even in that whole school system over there in Muncie Northside. And that's just right across from uh, Anthony Apartments, that big school there. So, I mean, he would be interesting to talk to. He was a teacher of the year. He's, he, uh, he had won all kinds of numerous awards and stuff like that. But he studied the course, and he can tell you a lot about Muncie and, and a lot about that and how it was going through the school and stuff. These are the people we want to search out, we want to seek out. And uh, we'll find a lot of information from, from barber shops. Now, I kind of missed you guys at the school board meeting last night. So. Yeah, we ended up going to, well, I ended up going to the Family Literacy Night at Washington Carver. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't sure how long that was going to run. And I had planned to go to that and then over to the school board meeting. But the Literacy Night ran longer, and I didn't realize it was going to be that mm -hmm. long. So I didn't end up leaving there until about quarter after seven. Okay. Now. You guys asked me if I wanted to, uh, to to fix you guys up with uh, with the school over at, at, at Central, right? I mean, some classes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm from Southside. I asked I, I asked the principal. I said, "Would you mind?" He said, "Well, you know, you got." I mean, to me, that's red tape. Yeah. All I have to do is pick up a phone, and I can get you guys in over at at uh, South. Okay. One interesting thing that's going on at Muncie Southside, Muncie Southside High School. Uh, with the Muncie Community School along with Ball State University is building a bridge and that bridge is to send teachers over to Muncie Southside mm -hmm. and then and also to work with the, uh, uh, a development program to teach teachers how to be better teachers you know so they're going to come over and they're going because education is one of these uh, uh, you, you're going to continue to there's new things constantly and continually changing and happening so um, with this thing, with this education, it's, it's just a continuation. You never learn enough. Just like we was in that meeting the other day. It's a never-ending process. Just because you got a master's, a doctor's degree, or a PhD, it, it means you got to continue to learn and learn and learn and learn. It's a never-ending situation. So over there, some teachers, I've been teaching 30 years, what are you going to tell me? Everybody can learn. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes some things just, you know, you, you, you got to continue to learn. That's what I'm trying to say. So what's, what's getting ready to happen, that over at, um, uh, over at Muncie Southside, Muncie Southside and, and, and uh, Ball State University, again, have partnership up to help build up Muncie Southside and likewise give these teachers some an opportunity that they can get in there and, and learn some strong points and weak points and stuff like that because I, it's, a no, it's a no lose situation for Muncie Southside. Ball State can gain out of it as well by producing better, more qualified and eager teachers. Just because, and here's one thing about me that I have noticed, you know, I'm not a teacher, no, no, I don't have that PhD or anything like that. But if you give me the subject, I can go in there and teach it. If you give me a subject, and I, I can teach the subject, Lord, as long as it ain't math, mm -hmm. you know, but I can get in there. But, you know, if I apply myself, what's happening is the kids and stuff, they're graduating, and, um, and, 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 and if somebody like them, they can go and do an internship. Somebody like them and say some great value, and say, they, hey, that's great, they're well going. Then you put them in a classroom, and with, with students, they have no relationship. They don't know how to treat the kids. The kids just run all over them. They're nothing but a joke. You know what I mean? Because I done had them. I'm telling you, I was, I was one of them guys sitting in the in the, in the chair. And when we, when I looked 
and I found a weak spot in you and you a substitute or whatever, I just rolled on you all day long. <laughs> I mean, I just tore them apart. It only takes somebody with a big mouth and get two or three others, we're going to take it over the class. So, I mean, just teaching all that kind of stuff, but, um, but that's where we at with that. That's really great. I've known a lot of people that go through the education program here, and especially with like, the elementary ed, and they say that you know Ball State really thinks that they're such a great program because they have Burris that the kids can, well, the, the kids, the, the student teachers can go to all the time and practice. And they're like, well, mm -hmm. Burris is so not a typical school, and a lot of them just really don't feel prepared from that. So that's really great that yeah. they really get that opportunity. Well, let's look at Burris. Okay, Burris is what we call a laboratory school. Mm -hmm. Basically, not anybody get in Burris. You, you got to be in the clique or something, you know, to get in the Burris. Professors, mm -hmm. doctors, lawyers, all their kids in there, okay? They in there. It's, it's a laboratory school. You need to move out of that and go into the, the inner city. And these kids, you hear them saying, some, not all. I mean, that's where it's at. That's where you're going to learn. Them baby kids, you know what I'm saying? Don't, so that's where you're going to learn at. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. That's how you learn to build. Yeah. Them. So, you know, um, um, and I was, it was very interesting. Yesterday I had a, a conversation with my uh, director of this particular building in the term, uh, concerning diversity. And they was looking for RAs and people and interviewing them. And they said, and they was asking that the students who was applying for the job, I mean, have you ever had any, uh, or, um, what's your area in diversity with the students? Uh, I never seen anybody other than my my own race until I got to Ball State. Wow! And you gonna put them in there? They gonna you hear what I'm saying? Uh, that's all there. You know? Oh, I know somebody who does, but he don't directly or she don't directly. I mean, I'm talking about right now. They they say over half the people they interviewed had never had any. I mean, they coming from these small towns. Or then it, and it's just literally, you know, white, and then they they, they thrust into a a, a, a mega uh, college with diversity, with a variety of everything you have, and they have never had any experience, never, ever. To me, that's sad. To me, it is. But then again, you got to get out and you got to stretch yourself. You got to extend yourself. Now, the both of you guys met, missed. The, the, the guy from Cincinnati who, who did the fight the power thing. Y'all missed that. But y'all told me about it. I came and y'all missed it. What was that? That was last was Wednesday, Wednesday night. La a week from the night. I mean, a week from today. Last week. Oh, I've got the choir Wednesday night. Yeah. See, you told me about the guy saying he's going to be there tonight. And I went. I didn't see neither one of y'all. You know? <laughs> we both... We both are doing things. Yeah, yeah, with sure. With this, with this project, well, I was doing things with the project. She had choir. We got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay then. I well, he was good though. Yeah, he was good, but I'm gonna tell you what he did. I mean, and this was to our administrators them too, because I seen some of our department heads them in there. When he got to start talking that stuff that it was true, but they knew it exists, but they didn't want to admit it. Then I seen them sliding down in their seats. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, some people beat around the bush about it. This guy just went straight to it. You, you know what I'm saying? He went straight to it. And I was looking at the corner of my eyes at, at the vice president and, and, the, and, and, and uh, the dean of students. And I was just checking them out. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway... What we, want, what we want to continue to do is my job primarily, and what I like to do, and I'm saying, you know, the commitment is there, is that we, let's, let's see about building our foundation, at least with me. I mean, y'all do whatever y'all want to do with it. I, I don't have no control of it. But at least with me, I just want to put you together with the complete family. Even though the kids is going on and, and they're successful and all that with the complete families. There is another married couple I, I like to fix you up with for our next week. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, situation, okay? I need to just call them and let them know that you're coming, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we go on. I don't think it'd be wise to do a, a, in a way it would be to do good all, but you know, he's he's on committees doing it himself. 
Now, see, do we want to double him? See, everybody, somebody else is doing him, aren't they? Yeah, he's working with the um, community activities group. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing with the uh, community activities group. And that's politicians and all of them. But nevertheless, you know, can we do him? We probably could. Okay. Because he, he, he would be another one. Uh, been married over 50 years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Born and raised here in Muncie. He knows that he knows the ins and outs and what it was about. So we can we can hook him up. Our group can go and visit him. You know? So I just said that. Um, I just want to brainstorm just for a minute, and if you got this on the recorder, then we can continue on with this. Or some people we want to get. We we mentioned Vernon Reese, right? Mm -hmm. Over at Muncie Northside Middle School, history teacher. We want to somehow contact him and get with him. And see where he's at okay likewise there's a retired there's two retired uh, uh, teachers well there's one in particular her name is um, uh, mrs. morning I forget her first name but she retired from Claypool elementary school she is one who really uh, after the divorce she raised her children and she went on up the, the, the hard way she was really really tough okay uh, Hold that just for a minute. Let, let me see what these guys got here. Uh, Miss Warner, I have a question though. When I first introduced myself to you, you pointed to two guys over um, uh, on Martin Luther King, um, the, the whole day of events on that Monday. And you pointed to two guys that were in the back of the room, and you were like, I want to introduce these two guys. They're real old, well, not real old, but they were older people. <laughs> Where? Where was we at? Um, at the bank, at our first merchant's bank. When I first came up and said who I was and what I was doing for the project, and you was like, oh, okay, and you were like, these two guys back here. Mm. You were first merchant's bank, so there's the Martin Luther King event, the opening, where the, the, um, the, um. I remember being at the, the bank. Right. And I, I came up and I just introduced myself to you. And I was like telling you who I was and what I did. And they had on blue, one of them had on a blue jean outfit, dark skin guy, and the other one had on the hat. He was kind of brown skin, but they were both over maybe 80, I would say. I don't, I don't know, I, I'm not bad, I'm bad with ages, <laughs> but they were older guys, two older guys. It just came to my mind, we were oh, looking people. Yeah. I tell you who they were. Yeah, older men. Mm -hmm. One of them name is Henry Marshall. Mm -hmm. Henry Marshall was 80, 82, 83 years old. He's retired from Ball State University. He's not an educator, you know. But his 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 problem is that when he returned from the war, World War Two, Ball State would even hire him because he's an Afro-American. Hmm. Ball State did not start hiring Afro-Americans still in the 40s. And that was because the Balls, at the time, the family did not want to hire Afro-Americans at all. Up until they started receiving federal money, they had to. So this place, what I'm just trying to say is this place was, was very, very racist. Now, I mean, that's, that's according to him, you know, he was turned down. So that's, that's, the, that's what's with that. Mm. Feel uncomfortable with it, but it's, it, it was true. And then some of that stuff still lingers on. You know, through my eyes, I see a lot of it. But, you know, it's still there. And it's, it's going to be here for a while until we uh, drop our defenses and see how we can work together. Okay, so there was Henry Marshall, and the other guy named was Mr. Clark. And Clark has no education at all. Um, but he would be a great man to talk to because he did not get an education. Not even like elementary or anything? What happened? Why? Wow. I don't know if we want to tell the story or not, mm -hmm. but probably better coming from him. And that has really been somewhat of a devastation to him if he would uh, be willing to talk about it. 
you know, because you can't read. And, and education, you know, it's a good thing, but if you can, you know, it, it was a good thing, but we got to remember the time and the era in which he was living, mm -hmm. you know, 80 some years ago. All right, those are the two men I, I seen. Yeah, wisdom. So it'd be good to sit down you know, talk to both of them, get them on the same wavelength. Now, what you I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out names, and, 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 uh, and what we need to do is to uh, uh, be able to take these names of these individuals, and uh, we need to sit down and talk with them. But you got to give me somewhat of some, some leeway. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, I'm, I'm ready for this, I'm ready for that. Then there is a, uh, some, some, I'm just going to throw this out too. Um, you know, you got Sam and Millie Abrams. Uh, Sam was born and raised in Muncie. He became, uh, you know, he went through all the schools in Muncie, graduated from Ball State, got his master's, and then became the superintendent over all the schools in Muncie. So that's a success story. And now he's over the uh, CAPE program. Mm -hmm. So he would be an excellent person to talk to. But I was going to use him for the middle aid. Yeah, go um, on. Dolores gave us his number. Have you called him yet? She asked me yesterday if you'd called him. She gave me his number? She gave us his number. And when we talked to her last week, I said that I would call him, and then um, since I had to go out of town, I'd ask you on Thursday if you would. Oh, it was a while. Just take it out. I have not called him now, but I can okay. call him today. Okay. Well, I don't know if I have his number. We have his, uh, was somebody got his. Was that all the list that she was giving to him? Um, it's probably on there, and then she gave it to us again last week. Um, yeah, she gave it yeah. yeah, okay. And, um, somebody in class had his work number, too. So they were passed around his card. Okay. So I've got his work number if you don't. So. I think she mentioned us to him. Yeah. And I know his cousin Renzi is working with the religion group. Mm hmm Okay. Can we interview you and your wife sometime? You already you know are. all our questions, but mm -hmm. <laughs> you are you already know all our questions, but mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do that. And I got a son in high school over Central too. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, Maybe we can get you guys as a family. That could that could be that can be a part of it. Um, there there's others beside him. There's a Bill O'Neill. He was a superintendent of the Muncie Community mm -hmm. uh, of, of the of, uh, not the Muncie Community School, but the Madison County Community School. Mm -hmm. That's over in Anderson, and he's retired. He's he's a good resource man. Um, there is a. Um, well, it's just, there, there, there's him, there's a, a, another young man who come through the system, and, I, and write down this guy's name. His name is, uh, we call him Coleman, Mr. Coleman. Mm -hmm. We call him Kid. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's 82 years old there, about, but he's blind. Mm -hmm. He will be an excellent man to interview, too. These are just people we need to see and talk to about how it was, you know, back, back then uh, in, in terms of education. Now, his daddy was a superintendent. Wow. Now, he's 80-something years old, but his father's a superintendent. Now, he didn't get a good education, but yet his son became the superintendent. His son is the superintendent of Battle Creek Schools. He came through Muncie, Ball State, got his master, became superintendent over Marion. Then he left Marion and went to uh, uh, Battle Creek, Michigan. Then St. Louis, Missouri wanted him. So he was going to go there. They offered him way more money and everything, but he stayed there in Battle Creek because the people were so good to him. So he's, a, he's an excellent, too. You know. But we can get some information out of the kid. And I, I think that you know he, he can't get around, so we have to go to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all the people whom I, I recommend you to, i like to take you prior to that, and we do it like that. Sam is a big fish, you know, so he ain't no, he ain't no problem. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, he ain't, he ain't no problem. You know, everybody knows Sam, but they don't know him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody's always, you know, because they know he says, uh, that's Dr. Abrams. 
Then we got people like Mary Donaldson. Mm -hmm. You heard about her, right? Mm -hmm. Heard the name, yeah. Okay, Mary Donaldson, she's over, she's uh, uh, retired from Muncie Community Schools and started her own program on Motivate Your Minds or Motivate Our Minds. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. She's over there, her and her husband, Cornelius Donaldson. Okay? So they're, they're, they're all right, too. We just went to the multi last week to volunteer there and motivate our minds to tutoring on Wednesday right. and Friday. They got a team over there, yeah. yeah. So I think I'm going to try to start doing that every Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Saturday's going to be there every Who? Wednesday, too. Um, another girl from our class. In mm -hmm. the now, do we have what we need in line? Do we need to go to the next uh, individual? Uh, what do you tell me now? What do you want to do? Do you want to go back and revisit, or do you want to move ahead? You tell me what you want to do, and I tell you what we what we can do. Maybe let's move ahead. Okay. And then we can think of more things to ask the people that we've been to already, as we hear other people's stories, and that might give us ideas of things to ask. Okay. The Wilkinson and the Stevens League. Okay. Then let's let's do this. Let's see if we can. It's set up for um, Hurley and uh, his wife for an interview. Okay. Okay. I'll set up. I'll see if I can set that up. Okay. And then we have a, a a time. Let me call him ahead. I don't have to necessarily call him ahead of time. You know, I, I just need to find out when it would be a good time to come over because he likes to talk. <laughs> huh? Based on what we heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably heard that about me too, didn't you? Ooh. You didn't? Ooh. Good. That Phyllis Bartle likes to talk, don't she? We meet with her next Monday. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> well, we meet with her at 10, and we've got class at 1. And I've warned them, we might be late. And, uh... Well, Hurley Goodall would be our third couple then, okay, okay. in education. Uh, you might want to put down for possibility the Dorsons. Um, the Dorsons had... Um, Three, let's see, I got four children, three boys and a girl. What's so interesting about that is the fact that one of the sons became, uh, one of them was, was in engineering for General Motors, then the baby son became a professional football player, and he retired uh, playing professional football. And uh, he's, right now, he is, uh, uh, he was in the, the top 50 richest Afro-American in the United States of America. He's in the top 50. I think it was, uh, and that's because once he got out of professional football, he bought this company mm -hmm. that supplied all the, 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 the uh, hamburgers and all of that stuff for McDonald's and all of them. Wow. Yeah. So it's, I mean, that's all over the nation. Mm -hmm. So uh, he got into a packing company. And uh, he's doing extremely well doing that. So, I mean, the Dorson would be a good one to, to do. Um... So we want to we want to see where we at with that. Then we want to go on, okay? You guys have any questions for me? Um, about the process or about you? <laughs> Just whatever you have. Um, did you want to get involved and in, um, help writing our right. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Help writing our chapter. I mean, the option was thrown out there to us, and we were like, I don't know. We didn't know if we wanted to. Cause I don't know. I know Hurley was writing something, but I, um, well, he's, he's, you know, he's a writer. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm a better talker than a writer. That's one of my gifts of talent, you know. Um, I guess I can help somehow. I, you know, I'm, that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm, I'm here, available. I'm, I'm a, a liaison. But I'm, I'm one to set you up with the right people, to put you in the presence of the right people that can help 
give you the right information. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess I can help. But if you know I me, mean, talking about writing a chapter, I hadn't, you know, with with this heavy schedule in which I have, mm -hmm. it's gonna be very difficult. But uh, uh, it's tough. But if if I could, I mean, if I mean, if there's um something I can do in terms of writing something or get some clarification or something, I wouldn't mind doing it. You know. Uh, but I'm I'm trying in one respect to uh, to give a, a, a clarity here that when mothers and fathers or husbands and wives was together raising the children, even though they had some problems, not like they have them today. With 72% of households, single parent, I think you mentioned that the other day, there's a lot of single parents. We have some trouble on our hands in the education system. I believe that a father in the house makes a difference. Especially one that's in tune and involved or educated himself. Now, a non educated father and mother, they wouldn't have, uh, uh, I'm not saying some, not all. Some of them see the fact that, hey, look, I know I'm this, this, but I want to make sure my kids get what I don't have. Because every generation mm -hmm. wants their children to be better than that. It's like, I want my children to excel. Mm -hmm. I do. And um, I, I think that. I just want to be able to show that, the, and, and, and statistics has already proven the point that husbands and wives or two parents uh, with the united front going to the school, being involved in their child's education makes a difference. And that, that point has been proven over and over again, so we don't want to go back there. But I want to show it through history. Because the people we're talking to are 70 and 80 years old at mm -hmm. the present time. You know what I mean? And some of them didn't get great educations. But they have a lot of wisdom that education can't buy. Mm -hmm. You know? Therefore, we want to make sure that um, uh, we, 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 we start with them and then just come on back. I mean, not necessarily make sure we'll start with them. But we want to make sure that we, we expound upon the fact that, you know, there is a difference here. And when we start getting down to the, the single parents households, the way the things are going now, we'll be able to see what what the, what has went wrong. I mean, it, it should tell us what has went wrong since the time we started, too. I mean, not necessarily went wrong, but things happened. Death happened, this happened, but what has went wrong? What's the breakdown in the family? Mm -hmm. And we're going to find out there's a direct correlation between the breakdown in the family and the singleness, you know, father just left, you know, you, you see that all the time. So, and then sometimes some crazy women leave. I know a bunch of, you guys met the one guy, I told you that Vance guy, wasn't mm -hmm. Vance? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mom, and he had his kids, does an excellent job, but that's very rare. You find men that's doing that, very rare. A lot of them pick up and leave. They can't take it. Yeah. Big wimp. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now uh, let me let me just address the two of you just for a moment. Um, do you think that we're meeting enough, or do we need to meet more? Number one. We as us, or we yeah, as we as, uh, we as this particular little group here. You think this is enough, or do you need more? Well, I don't want to crunch your schedule too much. I know you're really busy. Um, so I think we're probably okay as far as meeting, but we should probably call you more often when we get stuff mm -hmm. set up, let you know where we're at between Wednesdays. <laughs> what about you, Carla? <laughs> mm. Um... I think um, we need to start working through email systems, if not. <laughs> um, after our meeting, to make sure we kind of got, like, like after the Wilson's meeting, I kind of walked away and felt like, okay, did we get anything out of education out of it? And I kind of wish um, 
where we had gotten more. I thought we talked more about the business aspect, and then we try to push some of the, um, you know, about what his kids do and things like that. But I don't know. I just, I, I thought, I, I didn't. I felt kind of like I, I walked away with nothing, the way I saw it. And so maybe um, if I could email you or um, and just kind of tell you that, and then maybe next time you can call them or set up, you know, we set up another date with them or something, and you can call them ahead of time, like, okay, well, next time can we talk, you know, talk about this, you know, something like that, instead of waiting, you know, to the following Wednesday or something like that. So may, and maybe we still meet on every Wednesday, but maybe after each um, person we meet up with kind of give, like, a, um, a overview of what we took out of it, and if that's kind of what you wanted. Like, if we would have done that, then like, oh, well, that's only, you know, I wanted them to grab this or grab that, but I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. This is good. This is good. Um, we need to critique, but we need to go in with a plan. Now, bid you not, Wilson and QL was thrown upon you. QL is when you first worked together as a team. Wilson, you was the Long Ranger. We still have not been able to get to the point where we can get what we want out of them. Mm -hmm. They have it in them, but it's unlocking those that combination. Mm -hmm. We got to get beyond the you know the business and all that because they they just want to talk, and mm -hmm. we got to get right to the core of what that in which we after. But if, you know, I can get it out of them, but if not, it's gonna be. I can get it out of what I wanted to get out of them, I can get it. But what you're looking for, there's got to be some kind of des uh, 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 desire or something that you need to receive out of them that you got, you got to be able to unlock that key. But it's kind of hard the first time because they, they're not really relaxed with you. In order to get what you, I mean, you got to spend some time. So don't think it's lost. Now they know you, they, you know, they go back, if, if, if you, just think of you taking her back with you, you know, they, they're more relaxed and comfortable with you. But we got to go and get them right, with, I mean, we got to focus on that one thing that we want. What is it we want to get out of Wilson? If it's the educational part, everything we talk about should be education or should relate to it. But we got to be able to get it. But we got to hear all that other mess. <laughs> if, you know what I'm saying? We got to, it's not necessarily mess. I don't think any of it's lost time. No, no. Because, I mean, whatever we talked to them about, we're establishing a relationship with them. And, like, QL and Willem, they talked about the business a lot. Mm -hmm. But it was also about, like, what they taught their children about work ethic and yeah. how he's teaching his grandson about the business now. And so, I mean, it was a lot about the business for, like, half an hour. But I felt like I got a lot out of it in terms of education. I don't know about you. But <laughs> I, don't know. I mean, and I, uh, what, from the notes that I, I took, I definitely felt like... Um, when we asked him what um, what was his uh, uh, meaning of training the young, like he talked about freedom, I thought something I, I, I would want to put in um, how kids nowadays have too much freedom. Where back then they didn't. Um, I think you asked. I think you said something about that. Mm, he, he said that they have too much freedom and then mm -hmm. having control of the home, being involved in school. He talked about the discipline and um, double questions asked. And I don't know what I. But I got to my own notes anyway. But, um, yeah, I mean, I got got a lot of it, but when the majority of it, I felt it was just like about the restaurant, and I was like, um, I don't know, I just kind of felt it was still in the restaurant. Well, you know, you know, let us not forget that, you know, the restaurant is a present thing. Mm -hmm. We kind of got to back them back up and send them back down memory lane where some... 40 and 50 years ago, we got to get them back in that frame of mind of thinking. That if we mention restaurant or mention food, you talk about what's going on now. But, you know, I think it was a start, but I, I agree with you. You know, you, we walk away, we go in there, and we hear an hour and a half uh, uh, someone talking and us asking questions, but we only get about two or three minutes of things pertaining to what we, we're there for. But we got to remember that we're we, we trying to establish and build a relationship so we can feel the flavor of these people. 
and, and what they have been through and, 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 and how they feel and why they think the way they think. I mean, we kind of got to get into that part of it too. So I would say as young writers and, 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 and we, we do more listening than anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to hear that other stuff so that we can have an idea of how things were and then we can then we can go in at it. But we got to let them get that other stuff. They proud of that business. Folks from all over the country come in and chew on it old hard meat. You know, they proud of that and they love it, you know. And then they, they love, you know, they glad the kids are going and you know, all of that and, and they're successful. But we gotta allow them that that breathing time or airing out time. We got to allow them to have that. And then we can we can really hit them. Okay, so with that, but I tell you what, from now on, we don't, I don't need to just ask what's, what's going on, we need to critique it, what we like and what we did not like, and then we need to go back before we revisit that, and then we need to go back, before we go and revisit any place we went to, we got to say now, this is our agenda, okay, we didn't heard about this, but this is our agenda, this is what we want to do, and we got to be a little bit more forceful on getting what we got, what we need. Because what I'm telling you, if you open up the right combination, you'll find there's treasures. Treasures untold. We haven't walked the streets they walked. We haven't been down those dark alleys. We haven't been down those woods, those, those wood trails. But they have. But we got to extract it out of them. But we got to listen to all the other stuff. But yet we got to be focused on what we want. Yes, yes. <laughs> but what happened? What was your teacher like? What kind of subjects? How do you were you dressed properly or would everybody what they wear? We gotta be more specific. Mm -hmm. Am I making any sense? Yeah. Or am I talking to the wall? Mm -hmm. I think part of our problem with the Stevens is I don't know, I haven't listened to the tape from the Wilsons yet. Um but I think part of the problem with the Stevenson's with getting off track is that Dan is really interested in doing um, like a photo essay about them and about the business. And so he kept asking questions about the business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that was about a half an hour of our interview, which I think it was really good. And I'm glad that I know all that about them and about their lives and what's important to them. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that... He was asked, he was directing some of the interview to be about his specific things other than about like the group. So Okay. We gotta understand that, you know, people like the Stevens, basically all the committees them can come in there and pull something out of them. From the yeah. religious press, from the business press. I mean, they they can pull it all out. We in there but we gotta make sure that the treasure that's left in there just for the educational part, we gotta go in there and get that part. Yeah. Now they can have the rest of it. But we gotta focus in now. See, Dan, he got his. Dan knew exactly what he Bloom. Boy, light came on side his head. Yeah. That camera got to talking to him. Can I do this? <laughs> you know. So he, he manipulated, not necessarily yeah. manipulated, but he coerced them to do what he wants. And he has a an assignment for the project and so I mean, I'm glad that he did talk to them, and he's going on Friday at 5.30 in the morning to start the cooking process and photograph two hours. He does everything, like lighting the fire, getting everything out. And I'm glad that he's doing all of that, but next time I think we're going to have to talk about keeping it to turning the young. Because I know like some other people had talked to me in the class about going in together and doing interviews together, and I think that if people have four hours of stuff that, of stories that they could tell about education alone. You know, we're not going to go in there and do that for four hours because that would just be really tiring for people. Mm -hmm. And so if they have another four hours of really good stories that they want to tell about having a business, then if we all go in together, I think that'll, I don't think that'll work very well. And I feel that that's kind of what happened on Monday because we had two different reasons for being there. Yeah. So. Well, and look, now, we haven't messed up. No. In fact, we, we're doing good because of the fact that we, we're still getting to know them. Right. And we feel comfortable asking them questions. They're going to feel comfortable answering questions. You know? So, we're right on time if you really want to hear it. 
But now it's back up to us to be able to go in and, 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 and tap into that reservoir of knowledge mm -hmm. and be able to translate that back on the paper. We in, you know, we don't want the, the, the whole person. We just want just that part of that person. Yeah. And when we get in and get that one part of that person, we have achieved that which we want. And therefore, we won't go in and wait and stay two hours and come out empty. But we come out with something. And then, again, let's critique it. Let's have a, a, a strategic plan, plan to go in and um, to get that which we're after. And then afterwards, let's talk about it. How that can fit into the book. Mm -hmm. Just that part, you know, book be this thick, we talk about everything they said. So is that making any sense? Yes. Then we need to just refocus again. And then if we are going in with multiple people, with multiple different areas, mm -hmm. that can be dangerous. Yeah. Be the reason why it can be dangerous, because we ain't going to get what we want, especially if their part is more exciting than ours. You get to talk to them, he got a choice between education and talk about his business. Yeah. We can forget it. We can forget it. You know, I'll I just use him as an, as an example. Yeah. So, uh, education, and especially if they don't, they're not well in it. You see, we've got to understand that that's why it's so personal and, 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 and so intriguing to, that we need to get them, uh, we need to just be, you know, that, that we need that special time. Mm -hmm. You know, because these are some areas in which, can I say that they, they struggled in. Okay? It ain't nothing which they was, I mean, if they had a master's degree and, and stuff like that, I mean, they'd be glad to talk about education. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because they built a strong foundation. But these people had to work for a living. You know what I mean? They picked cotton, chopped cotton, they had, they had to do something. So we ain't go through that. Some of them couldn't even go to school. Mm -hmm. But you're going to meet some of them, like the, like the Marshall and the Clarks and them, you'll meet them a little later on in our story, you know, along this journey. But we, am I making any sense? Or am I just <laughs> huh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, uh, it's, you're on my time now. So what I want to do, I want to see if we can set up with the good alls, Jim. Yeah. So uh, did I? I got your names and phone numbers in here. Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, did you get them? Yeah, I do. Okay. Mm. Um. Carla. Car okay. Carrie. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me yeah, call. I know next Tuesday evening is bad for me. I have a presentation I'm giving at the um yeah. the library. The meetings on next Tuesday evening. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. How do you feel about us caring? Like breaking up. And some some meetings go together, some meetings don't. Because I know my schedule right now is conflicting with a lot of stuff going on. And I don't want us to miss it. Mm -hmm. Like tonight, like for example, at 7, I can't even make it. Um, I have to work. And I tried to get somebody to cut to um, take it, but mm -hmm. they I couldn't get nobody okay. to take it. Well, I think for the interviews, it would probably be best if we stay together as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Because that way we can get both of our perspectives on, on things and um, I thought that Monday was really good the way that I don't know I thought that you interacted with the students was really well like exchanging stories with them and mm -hmm. I didn't have I don't know I guess I'm not as good of a talker and so I didn't have as many stories to share yeah, with no. them um, and so I thought that that was really good for us to be there together and establish a connection with them like that so I think for the interviews I want to stay together as much as possible, but if we go to events like ball games or school board meetings or family nights, then or like working in the archives, we can probably do that more on our own. I'm trying to get rid of this job. <laughs> I'm trying to get into substituting. Once I get into substituting, yeah, my my day will end at three, so my you know my mornings and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, would be probably my, my evening could probably be better. Okay. Because of the red, yeah. Now because of red lights, and I have to have a job to pay my bills. Yeah. So. Um, my evenings are the ones that are keep knocking me, and I don't work in the mornings, but in the mornings, you know, we have different meetings and things like that, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, I know there's some challenges here. You know, really, uh, you got to be able to have a place to stay and eat and stuff like that. I mean, mm -hmm. not everybody have money like me. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I, I think it's good that you asked that question. I, I guess my concern, if, if I have or if I could um, put my little two cents in it, I think it's in, important that, um, like on Wednesdays, that we can critique and we can talk, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I, I also would like to add that it's impossible for you to do everything. Right. Run yourself to death, you know. I think it would be, uh, I think it would be good for the two of you to um, to do what you can, what you can't do, just don't do it. I forgot to get you your calendars for what's going on in the Muncie Community School System, but I can get you one. Um, yeah, because every night they got something different going. But I think it's important that the two of you continue to communicate. I would not say, um, don't come on Wednesday. Wednesday is good. This is good for that one hour. I mean, that's, I don't want to take you over your hour. Your one hour is it. Uh, even though I do most of the talking, <laughs> that one hour is it. Um, I agree that we need to find a mutual or some kind of um, timing in which the two of you can be together. Now, that was one of my concerns before we even started. Uh, being able to have a, uh, a day in which both of us could could be there, I I, I gotta kind of keep y'all together like that. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's, and I'm not saying these ain't no threatening people, because things are uh, things are gonna be changing. You know, you with the, the couples now, things are gonna be changing. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of gotta work it around. Even if I have to bring them guys here on a Wednesday or something, I don't know. Maybe we can bring some of them in here on a Wednesday morning. You know what I'm saying? So to make it a little easier, with somebody we need to talk to, maybe we can bring them here on Wednesday. Or if it's a student, if it's a teacher over at Wilson, over mm -hmm. at Northside, maybe we can go over to the school on my Wednesday. I can use my hour here. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I could have invited the Goodalls here this morning. You know what I'm saying? Well, they're pretty involved with the class, so anyway. they probably wouldn't mind. Yeah, they probably do every day because it's almost yeah. safer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they come to class uh, mostly every Monday. They come to Schaefer, and sometimes Curly comes when we're at the Virginia Ball Center, too. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. We actually could yeah. even interview them today, I wonder. Unless he has something to do. Oh, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat up all our people, you mm -hmm. know, real quick. I want you yeah. to take some time, and you know, because we ain't got a chance to digest QLs if it's if it's only a minute of it, you know, I'm, <laughs> you know. No, we got a lot. Of yeah. Okay. I did it. And see, here's the thing about, uh, see, you say, Dan's going to be when? Five o'clock in the morning? Mm. See, yeah. we need, you need to go back and, and, and I'll give you free food and stuff like that. <laughs> What's wrong? He said that um, if we came back to interview him again, to let him know and he'd have some black people. Yeah. Yeah, I see he didn't. Huh? We said we were going to try to make it tomorrow, go back, because he opens up at 11. And so we go talk to our group today and see if they wanted to stop by tomorrow. Stop by once before after class yeah. or something. And just kind of make it real paced and, and it, you know, not interview really, but just kind of talk to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's up to you guys. Y'all know I go and I can just get anything I want, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I pay for stuff too because it's a business. So I smoke turkeys and all that, you know. But it doesn't, I'm just, I'm kind of fed up myself. I had it all. I've been having it for a long time. I like other people's barbecue, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I am appreciative. So mm -hmm. let's try and work together. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't want to prolong y'all. Y'all got other things to do other than sit here and look at me. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I would like to compliment you on being on time this morning, all bushy eyed <laughs> and ready to go. And Carla, <laughs> I know, great job. I know. You know, I was <laughs> you know, you didn't do bad, but you know, I counted the number of times you yarned this, this morning. I counted two, two nothing. I got four. Two, what is four? Huh? Dolores had the interview set up for us for eight fifteen Friday morning. Is that gonna be all right? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> On Friday morning? Where's it going to be at? Yeah. Uh, at Wilson. That's uh, Mrs. Williams that she works with. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god. Uh, wait a minute. What's today? On the on fifteenth. Yeah, her other fourteenth. Yeah, her other option was later in the day, but I was afraid that you would have to work, and I hadn't heard back from you yet. So eight fifteen would have to do. That's I what I figured. Have to work yeah. In the morning. That's what I figured. Um. Oh. At her house. Um. At the school. At Wilson. Yeah, okay. and um. She's gonna call me back today. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever been out to Wilson? No, I don't even know where that is. It's a little distance, man. You been out there? I've been past it before. Oh, my when you go into those schools, you gotta sign in and. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Well, I better be Easter. Get enough service. Yep. <laughs>